No, I don't think the Flash likes Superman like that. Okay, Jason, that's not what I think at all. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Actually, guys. I don't know. We're here. This is the first He's queer. Episode, I guess we all know it. Well, you know that's fine. I like it. I like it once in a while. Uh, yeah. We are going to do Dungeons and Dragons the movie. I know we're a little late, guys, but we're going to do a spoiler review because I just watched this movie a few days ago, and yeah, I liked it. I enjoyed it a lot. Oh yeah, oh. <clears throat> yeah. This movie uh, was absolutely from start to finish just a like honestly, as someone like I've said, as someone who plays D and D, it just felt like a session. It sure. from the way, and actually, now that you've actually played a few sessions, do yeah. you understand? Remember how I said the very opening scene, the way they described everything, it was basically just like our DM explaining how the world and the way everything was set up. It was so beautifully done. Yeah, it wasn't what I expected as far as the way they incorporated the D&D aspect of it all, like the playing part and, you know, the storytelling part. But I actually really enjoyed the way they incorporated that part. I thought they actually did a really really good job with it like you said the way it feels in the dnd <laughs> recapping the you know the last mission or you know whatever or, you know, so yeah no in that sense it definitely and i like the way they sort of uh in the beginning also sort of played with the idea of character sheets and stuff yes do you know what i mean like they kept hinting towards like character like abilities and like like care like so i thought that was really fun uh like the yeah way no the little like that in. I will say 100% the things that they gave to, like, the actual people that play D&D were so amazing, the little mm -hmm. fucking details. Like, I don't know. You wouldn't really know too much about this, but they no. have an actual – there's a scene where they're standing around this kind of, like, cauldron-esque type thing. Okay. And yeah, it yeah. kind of shows the grid of the map. Yeah. Like the, 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 that. that is how a tabletop session would look almost. Gotcha. That little fucking thing, like that right there, that would be their tabletop for that dungeon session, and their sure. characters would progress through it. Like, so I thought that was a really nice fucking thing. Yeah. The the little moments where um like the guys just rubbing the um what's it called? The the the, the, the rope, the rope to, on yes. the stones. And I'm like, that's someone who just rolled really low on their roll. And yeah. it's just like I will get there when I get there, guys. I love that Michelle Rodriguez is a is a all all uh all automatic 20 every time she rolls because she literally destroys people in this movie. Oh yeah. Right? She gives some people the business a few times. <laughs> so I loved her in this movie too, but yeah, I thought I really thought actually them two together were really good. Like I thought that that story and that uh, chemistry with them really worked well. Oh, for sure. I really um, loved the uh, the way you know that she's sort of like the pseudo mother of the daughter, you know, of his daughter, and uh, she basically raised her with him. You know, I love that storyline and uh, that. Uh, well, he's he's in jail. She's kind of doing her own thing. So, like, the way they introduce characters and their yeah. interactions were so amazing. So, like, that those two characters, obviously. But then the actual whole party, sure. the way everyone got introduced and their own, like, little backstories was awesome. But personally, I loved the uh, – what was his name? Son of a bitch. The con man? No, not the con man. Oh. Um the main, not the the one dude who kind of just talked in riddles and was very blunt and, um, oh my god, the one that helps him towards the yeah. end, the For the, in like that little section, yeah. I, like it was just a nice little like, that was just an end, like you thought that this person was gonna go with them this entire way, but like then you realize no. He's just an NPC to help them through this little part. Right. Yeah. No, I definitely like, picked up on that. Yeah. Yeah. Like it was just, again, like more just like little nods of the cap to the true D&D &D fans. Like, sure. Because even as someone who is watching the movie, you're like, oh, now this person's going to be a part of their party. And then you're like, nope, that's not how D&D &D works. He's just a NPC yeah. person to help them get this item that they need and be about his day. 
Yeah. No, I, I, I did notice that too. I, I was, cause I thought the same thing at first. I was like, oh, he's going to join the party. He's going to be like the pseudo leader now and kind of stuff. And then he's just gone. I was like, ah, I like, and also, like his responses. I don't know if it was just me, but his oh, responses. Oh, they definitely felt that way. Yeah. We're very NPC energy. Yeah. They were sure. just very like, ah. I am cutting but a blade. But like, he also could just come off as like sort of like a dry like per you know what I mean? Yes. So, yeah, so like it was it could have gone either way, and I really sure. enjoyed the way they did that. Well, and there's a few times where I feel like the dialogue sort of isn't great. And what I mean by that is it plays more like people having a conversation like to the side of a mission. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Like when they're walking certain places, certain things they say don't really fit the world itself. But it makes sense because it, it's still in the world. But it's sort of like because so wait, you why understand. Are like, why are we going to this place? Like like that. Just little stupid things like that that they say once in a while. I really feel like like when we're playing, and I'm just like, well, wait a minute, what, what the hell? Yeah, just like the last <laughs> session we just had, where I was right. just like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, back it up, back it up. What the fuck are we doing? Who are we going to see? Why are we going to see them? What the hell is happening? Yeah, right. So, like, there's always just that one person who's like. I'm confused as all shit. And I love that though, but because like you said, it really does feel like a mission. Like it feels like you're on a, a mission, you know, doing do, doing your own thing the whole time or, you know, with people doing. Yeah. You know, so I really, yeah, I, I, I guess I probably enjoyed it more because I've had a few sessions uh, in. I don't know if yeah. I would have, you know, and caught a lot of that stuff and enjoyed it as, as much uh, without that. Yeah. Because the movie itself is a little silly. And I don't mean silly in a bad way, but just what they can do with characters in this world. And that's the beauty of it is because right, like, right, it right. is D&D. Like the bird character, John, like because they keep talking about John and it's just this bird. And I'm just like, that's freaking hilarious. Like that was hilarious to me. Like I thought that was so great with, with the reveal of it being this big bird character. And it's just named John. I'm just like, yes, that's hilarious. So I love like, that part it, of it. It was just – and then – the way that it, you know, as it played out, they're doing this whole heist um, and very well done, well thought out. Yeah. But yeah. like, just like any D&D session, things don't go according to your plan. Yeah. You can have as and many. I love that they find that portal thing, the stick that does the portals right at the right time. Like just, again, like you said, just little things they throw in there, man, that you're just like, okay, well this, yeah. That like, yeah. When he there. accidentally dropped that bridge... And it was just like he failed the perspective check and he just walked up to the bridge and he just right. stepped on it. Like that's literally what just happened right there. He rolled. And I didn't think of that for that one, but I did catch little things throughout. I'm trying to remember one or a, a couple, but where I was like, and that's where we would have had to roll. And we would have had to roll right there. Oh, we would have rolled for that. <laughs> I just think of, I thought it's it like you knew like exactly that. where the rolls were. And depending yeah. on what happened, you knew how well or not well they did yeah 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 exactly which again um, michelle rodriguez is an automatic 20 every time because she just destroys everybody in front of her well not every time <laughs> sure sure <laughs> but for the most part she's doing her this thing is a spoiler review correct okay yeah no we can talk spoiler. about whatever we want absolutely spoiler alert here yeah but like when she the the ending i didn't see coming um yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I will say that where she was the one who was, I believe it was poison, correct? Well, she was hit with that, uh, the witch's. Yes, uh, that's right. That's right. The, the witch's knife or whatever it was. Yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly how they said it, but yeah. And, but them using like their whole thing to save her, like I just didn't expect it to be her for some yeah, reason. I, I more so thought it was going to be him. Mm -hmm. Um, But it was just, again, like. It, I think that was also a play on, you know, you may have this idea on what's going to happen, but one of your other PCs can always, like, they always have the option to, you know, either mess up or get in the way of what you have already planned. And it, sure. whether that's intentional or not, you know, that's all depending on how the story is going. And I, I just think that that's how that played out. And the fact that they, you know, use this whole purpose that they were going after to save the his wife or his ex-wife and her mother to yeah. now actually save her i think it was just a beautiful moment between what was already and they didn't see their family familia sure yeah no i agree with you 100 percent, man I, I i really like the way they did that twist and i like that they both uh sort of 
they just have that moment where they both are like, yeah, she's the one we're bringing back, not mom. Like, I, I just, I, I love that, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, that moment was really great because that kid only knows her. You know, yeah. she can, and I don't mean this in an ignorant way, but she doesn't know her mother. Do you know no, what I mean? Well, so, like, she doesn't, like, for her, that yeah. is her mother. So, yeah. and it makes sense, you know, him, even though I don't really think they fall in love, but they just have that bond because of the do- because of the little girl. So, I really, I really like that. Yeah, I like the way that whole story played out. That uh, that ending battle scene, man, too, is so much fun from the beginning oh, yeah. of that maze I was gonna all say, the way to the end with the witch. Man, is so great. The um, the creatures that they brought up were awesome. Yeah, I love. Were a lot so of them. amazing. Every single one of them. I want to ask you, what is that cat thing that can uh, project itself? <laughs> The one that was making holograms? Oh, I have no idea. I've never seen I want one of those. (laughs) I want one of those things. Those things were freaking nuts, dude. That thing was cool as hell. But yeah, the the animals and everything like that were absolutely amazing. The creatures that they came up with and the way they actually introduced them all, I don't think it was tacky. I don't think it was just them trying to like shove shit down people's throats and trying to get them. My biggest issue with this movie and it's okay. just a personal one yeah. Yeah, yeah the ending is just not like and it's not like the the story ending is bad i just wish they would have panned out and it would have been yeah either some kind of remnants of a tabletop scene or maybe you hear someone's mother calling them for dinner or lunch yeah And, you know, that's all you hear and you just see everyone pause in like in the realm. Everyone just pauses and then like you're like, what? And then it just ends like just some kind of. Because I feel like it's it's a great way for them to just be like, well, now we can just pump out D&D movies, have random stories be told and we can change characters and we can change people because guess what? That's how D&D works. You can tell a whole story and then move on to a whole new brand new cast and keep the umbrella of D and D and keep it fresh because you can go so many different places with it. Yeah, no. I, and I think I agree with you on that. I think, I do think they missed a big opportunity there for sure. Not panning out to some sort of game either happening, just ending, you know, some, like you said, something like that. Um, I would have liked, I think it would have been cool if the world turned into like that thing, like you said, the, uh, yeah, tabletop, like you yeah. said, the tabletop game. But in the world, like if they would have everybody, like you said, froze and then it just zoomed into that thing or something and then it became a real one, maybe that would have been that, the way to do it. Or but. like at the end, like they're making a decision and all of a sudden, like, um, you see a giant dice roll through the land and then it like pans out and you just see it's like a tabletop setting. Like yeah, it just some kind of way. I just feel like it would be amazing for them to just be an easy way for them to be able to continue a franchise and bring more light to an amazing game. Yeah. Again, I, I think you're absolutely right on that. I do think that they missed an opportunity there. Um, maybe they just felt like they got enough of those, you know, sort of, uh, Um, references in or maybe they just felt like they didn't want to make it too cheesy for lack of a better word but yeah I think I think like you said I think they're missing I do think they're missing that in there somewhere even I I think even if it wasn't at the end maybe the beginning do you know what I mean maybe intro to the movie uh, like have the DM uh, when they're doing that like you said, the big uh, synopsis in the beginning of everything that happened, um, have it start on the game and then p- like fade into the world. Yeah, they could have done that, but I, I do like the way they started it because it's just yeah. you want to be a, like I feel like because that's the best thing about D and D you want to be as immersed as quick as possible. Sure. You know what uh, I mean? That's fair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're trying to get into the mindset of your character, the world, and all that shit as quick as you possibly can. So yeah. I feel like that's a great way. But like, I feel like just that ending would have been. So I, I think you might be right. The end, the end's the way to go for sure. Yeah. Like, or even yeah. like, like a um, 
all of a sudden mid movie you hear snack break and then like all of them pause for like two minutes a minute and then all of a sudden it's like all right we're gonna do this and this and this just i just feel like something I got other you. than that yeah in all honesty this movie's a, a nine for me like there is no issues and like the only reason it's, nine it's a- is just because of my own stupid fucking like <laughs> no it's it. fair Look, as a as you know, as a fan, you have the right to you know to, uh, I wouldn't even say expect things, but you know want certain things. Yeah. So, no, and I mean you're not being mean about it. You're just saying I wish they would have did this. You know, that's all. There's nothing wrong. Well, with like that. I said, I do love everything else and all the other nods they gave us. It was amazing. Yeah, I definitely think I'm a nine out of ten on this movie overall. Um, something I will definitely watch again, uh, probably a few times, just because I really did enjoy the comedy too. Um, mm-hmm. I know we saw it in the trailer, but I love that uh, you make bad plans. You make plans that don't work. <laughs> well, no, not all the time. Like I love that whole scene. That's a really great yeah. scene. Uh, but there's a lot of that. There's a lot of that in here. Just the back and forth with all the characters is great. Um, actually, I think he has some of the best lines because he's such a bumbling idiot most of the movie. And yep. he really does have some of the best lines because he's got to he's got to save himself every time, you know what I mean, with everybody. So he's constantly cracking jokes, which is really great, really really great. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go nine out of ten on this too right now for where I'm at. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it though, guys. I mean, it, it's it was just it was a really fun movie. It really was. Just beginning to end. If you really if you don't know anything about D and I would honestly re- recommend this movie still too. I think it's a yeah. good a really fun way if you pay attention to like what we've talked about so far uh it's a really cool way to see sort of how a campaign works um or at least what people are seeing when they're trying to play a campaign because yes that's kind of how you want it to to feel when you're playing a campaign so um but yeah guys like and subscribe to the channel please let us know what you want us to talk about next and uh hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything else that we have coming out trailer reaction like shows. subscribe let us know do Everything. it all do it all comment share it with somebody show somebody else us like look at these idiots we, I, I watch all the time <laughs> <laughs> share it with somebody uh but yeah uh padawan let us know where they can find you man Nice. You can find me at the Multiverse of Geekdom here every other day of the week. You can find me on the Gaming in the Multiverse, Jedi Academy, the Sunday Show, our trailer reactions, our reviews, Padawan Frito on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all of the above. Come on now. Come find me. And you guys can find me at Jedi Master Tuck on the Twitters, on the Instagrams. Uh, you can also find me on uh, everything, Jedi Academy, Geek to Monk Cut, Geek It Out, Queries from the Multiverse, Titan Season 2, coming sooner than you think. Don't worry, we ain't done yet. We got, we just getting this thing going. Uh, but yeah, guys, again, like and subscribe to the channel. Please let us know what you want us to react to next as far as reactions go. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any damn thing on the multiverse of geekdom. And we will see y'all next time. Holla at you, boy. Peace. Holla at you, boy. Hello, Banshees will rule all. Rule them all.